What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Brian and Garcia Toronto here with Toronto Racing. So in today's video, I'm headed to Ish Window Tent to put the new stripes on my uh, front bumper and then I'm going to walk around the wide body for you guys. So kind of did some things a certain way so I can showcase like why I did one thing versus another. Um, but first I had to pick up a battery for the car. So pretty sure it's the same battery that's been there since like 2009. Kind of sucks. So I came here to uh, San Marcos, uh, Chrysler Jeep and Dodge, and I picked up a new one. The parts guys are super awesome. So uh, I'm gonna go put this battery in the car and then we're gonna head down south to San Antonio to Ish Window Tent. So see you there. All right guys, so we're here. We made it to Ish Window Tent, got the car inside and getting ready to put some stripes on it on the little lower front bumper portion there so we can get that done. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about was the flares. I know a lot of you guys have been commenting that you want to see it up close or how, how is the quality. And let me begin by saying the only thing I did was paint the flares and put the flares on the car. I did so with uh, 3M Scotch tape, uh, double sided tape. I know that's a lot of you guys are like, oh, that doesn't work. And I've mentioned in comments below, some of my friends on social media who have the same kit have used the Scotch double sided tape and it has worked for them. As for me, I wasn't having such luck. so. As I mentioned in my install video, I was gonna glue it with the 3M general adhesive. And that stirred up some more comments about like not gluing it, it'll ruin the paint and so on and so forth. So I decided to glue it anyway because I do race my car and I need it to be there on there uh, nice and sturdy. So what I did do was I left one side taped to show you guys why I decided to glue and I went ahead and glued the other side completely. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all that right, all right now. So we're gonna start in this very back corner and then work our way to the front. So this passenger side is taped on there. Um, now, not all of it is taped because these bottom two pieces right here would not stick to the bumper with just the tape. I tried it multiple times on both sides and it just was not working out. So those were actually the first two pieces that I glued onto the car. And on the lower, very lower part right there, I used the uh, plastic rivets, as I mentioned in the video. Now, as for the big flare, this one is in fact still taped on. And that very little bottom piece is taped on as well with the plastic rivets on the inside. And I just drove here from Austin, I'm in San Antonio, and I was going 70, 75 the whole way. And they're still on there pretty good. So uh, no problems there. Um, as for this flare, it stuck on for me really good. But on the driver's side, it started peeling up. So that was one issue I had with the driver's side. So let's move on to the uh, front passenger side. So this is with the tape, and I even doubled up on the tape. So as you can see, this is the main problem people talk about. It likes to pop up and it won't stay down. Now, I did take that flare off. I re-cleaned it and re-taped it three different times um, to try and get it to stick and it just never stuck. So on this flare, my, problems, uh, my problem spot with the tape was right here. And that was actually the only problem spot on this uh, front corner. So moving over to the driver's side, these are glued on with a 3M uh, general adhesive. So when I did tape this flare, I, I did not have that same issue that I had over there. I just taped it and put it on there and it worked out just fine. Um, but once again, I did glue these. So these are all glued onto the car. The little bottom piece is glued to the uh, bottom of this piece right here. And the bottom corner with the reflector is glued on there as well. Now the same thing over here. When I first was taping it all, I did in fact glue the two in the rear and then I taped the big flare and it started popping up right around here. So uh, when I glued it, I just did the same thing as that one, just applied the glue, uh, put it on the car, and I glued the bottom uh, bottom flare piece on there as well. It's got the plastic rivets on the inside. So I just wanted to show you guys the differences in the way it sat uh, with the tape and with the glue. And as you can see, if you can get the tape to stick and hold down like some of my friends have, uh, it looks just fine. And like I said, I came here going 75 the whole way. That's the flow of traffic. And uh, they stuck on there just fine. But this one didn't want to, he didn't want to play. He didn't want to play along. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. And uh, I'll keep posting updates. But I think for the most part, uh, once you glue them down, they're pretty permanent. All right, guys. So I'm back in my house now. And what I'm going to do is go over how to uh, glue these fenders on so it's pretty straightforward so there, but there's a couple things that uh, you need before you get started so I'm gonna go over that right now all right so the first and maybe the most important thing is your prep of course 
So this is the tape fender. Uh, you can do this with um, without the tape on there. So don't go out and buy tape if you're gonna glue it anyway to just do this part. It is a lot easier if you just have two people to help you hold the fender up onto the car. Make sure you hold it steady. And then put tape along the edge around the entire flare because what's gonna happen is when you put the glue on there and you press this flare on there, some of the glue is gonna seep out along the edges and you don't want it to get on the paint and this protects it. I got that tip from another follower on Instagram. So as you can see, I prepped the rear one and I prepped the uh, front one right here. So I started pulling this one off already. So now that we've got it lined up, got the tape on there to protect it from the glue getting onto the paint. Um, I can pull these flares off. I can clean off the tape residue and clean off the flares and get ready for the gluing process. Now, in the previous video of the install, I linked to you guys off Amazon, this 3M08223 uh, general adhesive glue. So notice it's got two cartridges and that's because it mixes. So when you order off Amazon, you're gonna get the glue and you're gonna get these two nozzles that go right on here. And what it does is it gives you a perfect 50-50 mix ratio of the hardener and the glue uh, in one nozzle. You don't need to cut the tip off, there's already a hole. But you do need to get the applicator gun uh, from 3M. Now, this applicator gun is about $60. I'll link both the gun and the glue in the uh, description below uh, so you guys can purchase it. And I highly recommend spending the money on this because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I did it at first without the applicator gun. And as you can see, it's kind of a mess. And you gotta mix it by hand 50-50. I mean, it's not impossible, but it's a lot easier with this applicator gun. So take it from me, get the applicator gun if you're gonna use the glue. So what I'm gonna show you guys next is, this is a piece I cut off the flare. So I'm gonna show you how to put the glue along the edge here um, and show you you don't really need that much. You don't need to glob it up before you put it on the car. And the reason being is if you put a lot of glue, it takes a lot longer for it to harden and this glue slightly expands. I mean, it doesn't foam up or anything, but it does slightly expand. So the more you put on there, the longer you gotta hold it on there for it to dry, and um, it slightly expands, so you might get a little more seeping over the top. So the reason I'm gonna show you guys why I'm gonna use this extra piece of flare I have here instead of on the actual flare is because I don't have four hands and I can't hold the camera, apply the glue, and then put it on the car. Um, that's because the glue, uh, you, you gotta move quick. It slightly hardens kind of fast, um, so I can't show you with one hand and then get up and show you me putting it on the car at the same time. So I apologize for that. It would be 10 times easier if I had two people to film this, uh, but sadly today it's just me. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the gun and show you how to put the glue on the edge of the bracket and it'll be the same to put it along the edge of the flare. So uh, I'm gonna get started. All right, so once you take this off, you pull the red uh, tabs, pull those out and then you can put the nozzle on, just like that. And then you keep the white part, and you put it through, and you just twist it on, and that's how it keeps the nozzle from moving. So then you take this, and your applicator gun, and you push down on this, and you're able to move this forward and back. So move it back as far as you can, take your glue, and you simply insert it into the applicator gun. And you push back down on this, push this forward, and then you're ready to start pumping it through. So you just start pumping it. You can see it going through the gun. There's one part of the mix. Turn upside down. There's the black part on the other side. All right, so the mix comes out kind of black. As you can see right there, it's a mix of white and black. So that's what it looks like, that's consistency. And all you want to do is along the edges, squeeze about this much. Squeeze about this much glue onto the bracket and onto the edge of the flare. So when I pull the flares off, I'll show you exactly where to put uh, the glue. But that's all you really need. You don't need globs of the glue um, and this will hold it in place.
got the flare on there glued. Um, if you saw, or if you can see, you can see some of the glue comes out and that's why you put the tape there to protect it from getting on there. Um, but before I peel this tape off, what I'm gonna do is these bottom pieces, so on this flare and on the front one, what I do is I just put glue on top of here and then I hold it in place with my hand. That's how I did the other side. And then you just make sure you put the plastic rivets um, right here in the back that go into the uh, side skirt. So real simple to do. Uh, so I'm gonna do that real quick. I just wanna show you guys how I put the glue. This is the front flare right up on the edge all the way around. And now I'm gonna put it on the car. guys so I finished putting on the rear flare and I finished putting on the front flare uh, as you can kind of see in the video it's like uh, you, you, you start doing this funky dance of like trying to make sure like each spot is pressed down firmly and you get a uh, good adhesion between the car and the flare um, and that's why I've told some of my um, friends on Instagram it's a lot easier if you have a second person or even a third person um, so with that being said I'm gonna show you guys and I think this is gonna be the best part of the video because it shows that um, you know, sometimes things don't go as planned. So it didn't come out as perfect as I wanted to. And it already happened on the other side, on the driver's side. Today I showed you guys the passenger side. Um, and I think it's a good way to gauge like um, what to expect or if you should do it yourself or take it to a shop. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys uh, my, uh, what I'm gonna call little market failures here and there. And the way I'm gonna fix it is I'm going to take it to my paint and body guy who painted my flares, painted my hood, um, and I'm going to have him fill in these small gaps and paint over it um, to get that sort of uh, seamless line across. So let me show you guys what I'm talking right, about. So this is the corner or the side of the car that we just filmed um, and did the uh, glue that you just saw me do. So from far away, you kind of stand back and if you, know, you look at it really quick, uh, you don't see anything wrong, but knowing me, um, I'm kind of nitpicky and you can actually see right there it kind of gets a little black so right here um, it started pulling back and I wasn't here to push it forward and it created this gap and you can't pull it back together once the glue dries and what happened was once I thought it was seated I went to that flare started peeling the tape off and then started pulling back slightly um, and then the other part is right down there. You can see it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that filled in on you know, this flare. You can kind of see the same thing. Same thing happened. This is the best angle. Make it closer. So this is the best angle you can see where the glue expands and it actually pushes back. Um, but then you go down here to the very corner and it's seated, you know, nice and tight. And there's a little glue right there that I couldn't get off. So the same thing happened to me on this side, on the uh, driver's side, where you can kind of fit like a fingernail in there. And the same thing on the front. So on this side, I didn't use tape. And then this is where I talk about the glue kind of seeping through. And the same thing, I thought I, I held it down long enough and the glue expands a little bit and it created this little pocket kind of um which is kind of the same look you get with the double-sided tape when you put it around right the edge um, but i really don't like that so from the get-go this is the first flare that i did put on um so i talked to my paint and body guy and he's just going to fill it in and paint it all uh, all the rest of the flares all right guys so the reason why i showed you everything up close is because Things can kind of seem a, a little deceiving uh, from pictures or online and things may look like absolutely perfect and then you end up like me doing it yourself and then when you run into these problems, you're like, what the heck, how did somebody make it look so perfect? So I just wanted to be completely transparent, like mine did not come out perfect. Um, but on the plus side, it was by my own hand and I actually learned a lot uh, doing this entire wide body kit. Um, overall, I'm still very excited with the outcome. Um, just a couple little things that I got to get fixed, but I can't fix it. Um, so I got to pay the price for it, but that's okay. Cause I'm going to get it fixed and it's going to be totally fine. 
and moving forward from here uh there's just a few things left with the car to get it ready for uh we are mopar 2020 and that's uh new tires on the demon wheels get those mounted and balanced i'm going to change out the exhaust tips and give the car a good wash and wax and uh, i think we'll be ready so for now uh this is going to conclude my wide body adventures so i hope you guys got some uh, some good information out of this um some things to do some things not to do um i hope you guys feel more comfortable moving forward so i'm going to finish off with a couple keynotes so uh first of all i didn't modify the fair the flares other than cutting out to match the cuts on the car um but i didn't cut those out for them to fit on the car i cut them out to make clearance for the bigger wheels and tires um, other than that all i did was have them painted and then I tested out the 3M Scotch double-sided tape. And as you saw earlier in the video, uh, some flares stuck on well and others didn't. And as you can see with my glue endeavor, um, it's, kinda, it's kind of a little bit of a tough job. So if you don't feel comfortable doing it, I highly recommend getting a shop to do it. Uh, I'm one of those guys that I love doing everything myself and I've always worked with engines. I've never done anything body work related. So this was like completely new to me. And as always, guys, if you have any questions, you know, you can uh, DM me on Instagram. I always reply. Um, and I, it's Instagram is easier for me because I'm able to send pictures and video and like talk about like the, the things I'm pointing out versus like on YouTube. We just comment back and forth and it can be kind of hard to talk about like what you have a question about or me show you the solution to it um, if I have a solution. So other than that, I really appreciate you guys watching these videos. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate uh, the support, it, it, like it means the world to me. Um, there isn't a lot of how to install these wide body kits on a Challenger. Um, so I, I went into a lot of this blind. So I got a huge shout outs for um, friends on Instagram, uh, Izzy RT out of Houston, Full Metal Juggernaut out of Houston. Uh, they helped me out tremendously uh, with DMs back and forth. So I would like to pay it forward to you guys if you got any questions about it. So if you guys like this video, you know, hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. Um, uh, leave a comment below and uh, don't forget to subscribe guys and I'll see you uh, next time. Peace out.